Today's exercise of the day is free jumping, which might seem a little intimidating. Some of you may have only seen free jumping like this, at a stallion testing or maybe a mare performance test for certain breed registries where they put the jumps up really high and they're testing the mare or the stallion on their ability and their technique over a large fence like this. And that's not what we're gonna talk about today. Today we're gonna to look at free jumping for a young or green horse that maybe doesn't jump often and how it can be just a fun thing to do with them that is a little different than their normal day-to-day -day dressage work. So first of all, what is it? Free jumping is jumping a horse over poles with no rider and no tack and you create a chute that goes along the wall of an arena. So in an arena like this, you set up three jumps usually, the first jump being an X, the second jump being a vertical, and the last jump building to an oxer, and you create a chute like we've done here. This is a large sand arena with a three board fence all the way around it. And we've used standards and poles to build a chute along one wall. We did not have enough poles and standards to build three jumps. So we've only made this chute have one jump and then another jump. And that's fine for young horses that haven't ever been free jumped. So again, a normal setup would look like this with three jumps. And the distances are listed there that are normal for usually a warm blood horse. We're just gonna eliminate the last jump, the oxer, because we didn't have enough standards and poles and because the horses we're jumping today have never done this before. The distance leading to your first jump doesn't matter very much, but you need to have at least 10 meters of good footing. The distance from the first jump to the second jump is listed there as six and a half meters, and you could make it a little more towards seven meters if your horse is a very big mover, or of course you could shorten it if the horse is a smaller mover. The biggest concern in free jumping is of course the safety of the horse and the safety of the fences. So I like to look at the front of the chute and think about how the horse will see it. And I didn't like that these standards were leaning in because of the built up nature of the footing on the side. So we built the standards up underneath a block so that they were straighter and visually to the horse, it's a little more inviting to come down the chute and not have something leaning in at you. So this now looks a little bit more inviting and I've put that caution tape up in between the two jumps because the other big concern is that the horses get too excited and they could possibly jump out if the fence is not high enough. So I would never ever do free jumping in an arena that doesn't have at least a three board fence and if you have access to an indoor arena with a solid wall or a covered arena with a solid kickboard, that is an even better option. The other safety things to consider are that usually when you use a normal standard for the jump standards that are next to the fence, there's a bit of a gap. So I like these standards that we have there because it fills in that gap. Um, between the jump standard and the fence, which every now and then a horse thinks about trying to sneak out through that space and can hurt themselves. So we are going to run the horse into the chute in hand. So I use a rein that I've undone from the buckle, slide it through the inside ring of the snaffle, run the horse on the left side, and as I get close to the first jump, slide it out that way. So slide it through, hold it in my hand, the first couple times I'm gonna walk him through and then jog him all the way through in hand so that he understands what's going on. And I've lunged this horse a little bit first, of course far away from the jumps, to warm his body up a little bit. So you can see here he was a little confused. I tried to slide the rein out and he thought, wait a minute, you left me, and he stopped. So I have people on the ground there helping with the whip and I use the leather of the rein to tell him go on and give him a little tap with the leather on his flank or on his belly. So now I encourage him and he's starting to figure it out. You can see we only have the poles just on the ground now. They're not even an X. And now that he's getting the idea, we're gonna take the second jump and make it a little X. So this is a four-year-old, he's never done this before. So we just let him figure this out in a very easy, no stress kind of way. Now he's starting to look ahead. We make the second jump a little X. 
and in between we catch him and give him a treat or you can have a grain bucket there to entice him to come right back to you in between. So now that he's got the idea, we make the second jump of vertical and I have my helpers here with a lunge whip. If he were to think of quitting, he's still not sure of his timing and so forth, but that's why we let him go through it. You are seeing every pass we made with this horse this day. So you can see that he takes a little while to figure it out. And then that last one that he did, he did a really great job. So we're gonna end on that. The vertical we only built up to about two foot three inches. The first time I do this with a horse, I want to have lots of praise, lots of treats, and no pressure. I'm not trying to build the jump up to see how high he can jump the very first time. You'll see with these horses, we have front boots and bell boots on for protection. And before we start the free jumping, we are lunge them a little bit each way, just to let them loosen up. They don't need to be lunged with side reins, etc. Just get their bodies loose a little bit before we ask them to jump. This is another young horse. He's a six-year-old Oldenburg. Um, so he's a little bit more mature, but he's never free jumped either. So we're gonna start the same way. Poles on the ground. We walked him through, we trotted him through in hand, and now we're gonna let him go through. I ended up taking him through a, a second time in hand because he got a little confused uh, the first time. So now we're gonna try to let him go. And you can see he kind of doesn't know. We put that last jump up as an X. And then he got over it, and he was very proud of himself. Now that he's got the idea, we put the both jumps up as an X, and you can see him hesitating. He kind of goes left, goes right. So we're just keeping them as little Xs, very easy. Now he's figuring it out. We put the last jump as a vertical. He feels very proud of himself afterwards. So I want to let them enjoy this. This should be a fun thing Wee! that they get to do as a little something different. Woohoo! He did it. He feels very proud. So this last horse is a thoroughbred who is a jumper, but he's never been free jumped. So we go ahead and we did the same process, but then we moved it a little more quickly to a slightly higher vertical since this horse has done a lot of jumping under saddle and he has no problem with this. He was quite excited after the first time through and galloped around a little bit and showed us what he used to do on the track. Um, but we caught him, cooled him down, walked him for a bit, and then let him go through again and met him at the end with a bucket of grain. And he figured out pretty quickly that this was a fun game. I realize that this is a fair amount of work to set something like this up. So consider getting together with some of your fellow owners at the barn somewhere and having a day where you set this up and let your horses play around with it a little bit, keep your expectations low the first time, and just let the horse enjoy it and have fun. I think it's really good to get the horses out of their same old routine with dressage and a little bit of jumping is always good for their spirit and for their coordination. So I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more videos.